Hello everyone and welcome to my pool plans for Gabrant and Charlotte's banners and this will be the legend I'll be using for this video. With the release of Divine Odin, Gabrant gets his FR and BT plus weapons. Now do I think he's necessary? No. I did get his stuff over on JP but I never used it. The same goes with Lael's burst, never used it. Pain and Rude also get their C90s here. I don't really use them as much on global anymore, but with this banner I will be going for Gabrant with tickets, whereas with Lael's Burst I don't need it, so I will be skipping out on that banner. Ursula is a very interesting character in this game. I do have everything for on the global side and on the JP side, and I do have a force weapon on JP as well. Now, I don't really think that she's necessary at all unless you really like her. Sync also gets her C90 here, but I do have everything for the both of them on the global side of the game, so for this banner I'll be skipping. Fujin's force weapon is one that I skipped out on JP because I knew I never needed her, and to this day I still don't need her, and whereas with Caius he does get the C90 and a rework, it's a very nice rework, it's great, on global I have everything for him including the burst, but for Fujin however I don't need her because, well... I don't think she's really necessary going forward, so for this banner I will be skipping. Now when it comes to Shalotta, I actually don't have a Aldi on Global, the same goes with Aphmau, whereas with Xdeath, I really do love his BT+, Plus. I think it ramps him up a bit. Ida gets a rework as well and a C90, I mean, she's fine, I guess. I've got everything for them on Global. Whereas for Charlotte's banner, I will be going in with Gems. I don't have her Aldi or Aphmau's Aldi, so that's a good banner for me. Whereas with Ida and Xdeath, I'll be skipping out on them. With these intersecting walls, Reno gets a rework and his force weapon, and Ash gets a rework and her C90. Now, do I think that Reno is necessary? No, you can skip out on his force weapon. But with this fight, I actually hated this Shindio fight. Just because it's the dragonflies and they are just annoying to me in this game. But with Ash, I never really use her on global. She's just collecting dust, the same with Reno. So for this banner, I'll be skipping out. Cloud of Darkness gets a force weapon and Setsu gets a rework and C90. Cloud of Darkness, I don't really care about in this game. I was never on the hype train for, you know, the BT Plus and whatnot. The force weapon, not interested in it either. Whereas with Setsu, I've got everything for Setsu already. So for this banner, you know, I might actually throw some tickets just to see if I can get maybe Cloud of Darkness burst and or the force weapon. But... For this, it most likely is going to be a skip for me. Now, there was a seasonal campaign banner featuring Zack, Laguna and Kieran's bursts and all of their weapons. Now, I'm sure Global could do things differently, but for this banner, I have everything for all of these characters. I've got their bursts as well, so this banner is a skip for me. And that concludes my pool plans. Now, you can let me know who you want to go for, or if you want to give the video a like, you can. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe for more content from me. But other than that, goodbye everyone.